Dear Sean, I am so glad I met you. Not only because you rock, but your love of Indian fiction is right up there with mine. And I too want to go down into the, what did you say? Like the deep dark corners of Indian fiction and discover it all. Now I am super impressed with your collection. It's awesome. So I thought I would go through each book and let you know the ones I've read, which is only a couple, so we're cool. Try and hunt for them now at my library and see what is there. There are a few that I have my eye on that I will buy for this project, absolutely. Um, but I, I need to be a little bit sensible and see what's at the library first. So let's check out your books. So A Suitable Boy was the first one and that's the one I've read. So there might be some other people that want to read that chunker with you. Um, though fitting it into your tome topple march situation looks huge. But if anyone can do it, you can. <laughs> so The World in My Hands is not at my library. The Namesake, I have read and it's great. You should give it a go. I gave that four stars. Yeah. So All About H. Hatter. Let's see. No. A Life Apart? No, not at my library. Narcopolis looked awesome. Please? No. The Long Silence? No. Seriously? Then you've got Panchlight and other stories. I'm not a good buddy reader for short stories. I'm not going to pick that one, but somebody else will want to read that with you, I'm sure. But for me, Sorry, but I can't do short stories. I'm not sophisticated enough for that just yet. Okay, The White Tiger. Let's see if I can find it at the library. The White Tiger, I really wanted to read that, so I'm writing it down to go to the library and get it. Father may be an elephant and mother only a small basket, but that sounds fun. What do you think my chances are of that being at my library? <laughs> yeah. As, as thought, not there. Damn. White Tears by Harry Kunzru. I'm just going by the list underneath your video. I absolutely watched your video a couple of times. It was very cool. But rather than me writing down all the books, I've just been lazy and relied on you. And The Impressionist. Oh, no, it's not. It's not available. The Impressionist is not available. Don't know what that means. It's in the Library Coordination Centre. What could that be? Immigrant Montana. The Kitchen Marriage? I wrote in Immigrant Montana and it came up with a book called The Kitchen Marriage. Such a long journey, Rohinton Min Street. I read um, A Fine Balance. Yeah, I've already read that one. That was great. Really? How could that not be in this library? I don't think my library has a very vast range of Indian fiction. Absolutely crazy. Okay, this is Leela. Layla. Woo! It is there! Oh, that sounds full on. Oh my gosh. No one can pronounce my name. That sounds cool. Every time I've said that looks cool, it never comes up. <laughs> the Toss of a Lemon. I liked the sound of that one too. came up with some ketogenic recipe book. So no, the toss of a lemon. All the lives we never lived. I have it. It's there. I love that cover. I love that cover. Let me just reserve that just in case. The Ministry of Upmost Happiness. Did you say you'd read that? I think you said you'd read that. I don't want you to do a reread with you. I want to discover new things. But if you want to reread, I can get it. Let's see if I can get the God of Small Things. I can get it. And the last one is We That Are Young. No. Right, let's go to the library, pick these up, and then I'll come back and we'll have another chat.
pen and paper, I've written it down, I've narrowed it down to 10 books that I would love to buddy read with you. We're not doing all 10, obviously. You said three or four, which I'm, I'm totally cool with. Yeah, so these are the 10 that is a mixture of the ones that I can get at my library. And also there's four books on there that I would buy because they look so great. And yeah, I would totally invest in some more Indian fiction for this project. So I've ranked them from 10 to one. So I wanna read all of them, but number one is the book I want to buddy read with you the most. And number 10 is the one that I still want to buddy read, but you know, it's not as good as number one. I thought it would be fun for you to see how I ranked the books and, and what ones I really would love to read the most. Anyway, just a bit of fun. So ten, number 10 on my list is The Ministry of Utmost Happiness. I really want to read this book, but you've already read it. And I don't want to do a reread with you, I don't think. Because I want to discover new things with you. Unless you really want to do a reread, I'm happy with that. But I thought it would be fun to read a book you haven't read. But I had to put it on the list because I really do want to read this book. The ninth one is only on the list because I can get it from the library. It's Layla. Leela. Layla. One of them. I don't read dystopian novels. Like you, it's not my jam. We could try something new together. We could be bamboozled together or we can not. But it's, it's on the list because I can get it at my library. But if you wanna run with this one, let's do it. Let's live on the edge. <laughs> Number eight is White Tears. I can get that at my library. The kind of blues music scene sounds pretty fun. Number seven is We That Are Young. Uh, that whole um, family loyalty, family business, all that sort of stuff, I, I like delving into those kind of books. So yeah, happy to read that one with you. Number six is God of Small Things. I've always wanted to read this actually. It's really interesting for me to read about village life in India. And um, yeah, this book is about some stranger coming to the village and changing things up. So that's always a bit of fun. Number five is The White Tiger. Always wanted to read this one. Bit of a mystery kind of situation. The underworld in India attracts me a lot so I thought if there's a detective sort of sort of mystery going on then maybe we'll delve into some underworld stuff which is yeah makes me happy number four is a life apart that was interesting to me that um, he immigrates to England and has an overbearing mother and um, that whole family dynamic stuff yeah I would buy that one definitely Number three is All the Lives We Never Lived. Love the cover, <laughs> love the cover. I can get that from my library as well. The, the premise of that about, you know, creative community as well, sounds really fun to me. So that's number three, number three. And the top two that I wanna read. Number two is Such a Long Journey by Rohinton Mystery. I've always wanted to um, read other books that he has written, so, and that sounds like a great story of an ordinary man living in India and what happens in his world. So that's definitely number two and I would love to buddy read that one with you. And then number one, maybe I gave it away with my love of underworld stuff that I mentioned before, but number one is definitely Narcopolis. I'm buying that bad boy no matter what. <laughs> Drug scene, Bombay, 1970s, totally up my alley. So yeah, that's the number one buddy read from my point of view, but it's completely up to you. Sounds a lot of fun. I'm buying it anyway, I'm reading it anyway. So thank you, Sean. Thank you for being part of my booktube life. Thank you for loving Indian literature with me. That's my 10. I don't care which ones out of that 10 that I read. I'm happy for you to pick. I'm happy for you to pick the time frames. I'm a very easy buddy read friend, huh? I'm just excited to be part of this project. I'm also excited to see who else wants to join in. I know our mutual friend Joe Smith loves to um, loves Indian fiction as well. So um, yeah, I'd, it'd be great to see her come on board and to meet other people through this shared love of Indian fiction would make me very happy as well. So I want to thank you for opening this up to everybody and um, 
especially for inviting me. It's really made me happy to, to play around with all these books and I cannot wait to read them. So let me know which one we're doing first and let's get started. I'm ready to go. Okay. Bye, Sean. Bye, everyone. Talk soon.